Hello everyone. In this video, we will continue our problem that we were doing in the last video. Here we were given that we have a reservoir which is developed in two is to one rectangular pattern where well is located in the middle of one of the quadrants. Flow rate was given, BO at current time is given, the total production that we have from the reservoir till today is also given. Then today at this time we started build up test and this is how with delta T the shut in pressure changes in the well. So we want to find out the permeability skin factor and average pressure for the well or around the well. Now the time of operation can be found out using the total production and the current flow rate. So this is the average time of production which comes out to be 4464 4, hours and we want to use this pressure buildup test equation. So last time we had found the permeability and skin factor. The video I will link here. This is again from the last video that we had calculated uh, this ln of t plus delta t divided by delta t. We had calculated the slope and we had plotted this curve. We had used this equation and the slope which is accounted by these two numbers and the slope gave us the permeability which is 50 milli Darcy. Then we used this equation which we derived in a previous video which I will link here and using this equation we could find skin factor just using the pressure buildup test. So skin factor that we found was 6.3. Now we want to find out average pressure and you will see this is very interesting to find average pressure and I will introduce few new concepts in the next slide. Now what I have written here is the build up test equation that we use TD and another equation we derived in a previous video which relates p bar which is the average pressure to p star and we know that we can find p star by extending this line and i what i have done is to find p star this terms becomes a zero because we want to find out p star where the curve intersects uh, x axis zero and now we also know the slope, slope is known to us and PWS because here we are finding PWS this will become P star. So on this line where this line intersects x axis is equal to 0 there we find this is equal to P star this. So to do that we used slope, slope in SI unit is this and now slope will become equal to P star minus some PWS divided by 0 minus uh, ln of T plus delta T divided by delta T where delta T is at this these two are related so I have used at 5 hours I have used these two numbers to find out P star and these two should be positive and because here uh, while moving in the right direction our x axis is decreasing so we will put another negative sign here so now this term will become positive and we are equating positive to positive so this will give you p star so if i erase this you will see that p star that i get is 3020 psi and in pascal the p star is this now we want to find p bar using this equation and p star that we had already found. So this is the equation. 
we can very easily find p bar if we know tda if we know ln of 4 td by gamma and if we know pd td so tda tda is at the time when the build up test started so using this td we can also find tda by multiplying it with rw square and dividing by the area area is already given to us the drainage area is 80 acres so using this 80 acres we can find tda which i have found so 80 acres goes to this meter square and tda is 4.19 so you can put it here now you can put td here td we had already calculated and you will see t t here and using this t you can find td also so you can put that here but how to find pd td pd td is the dimensionless pressure at time td the flowing dimensionless pressure so to find pd we know the values of pd td for pseudo cd state and transient state you remember this we found this for which i will also link the videos but those pd td are found for a drainage area that was circular so in this circular area we found that when we have infinitely acting reservoir or a reservoir that has boundary which is circular then we can substitute those equations for pd td here but in this case we have a very strange looking drainage area and well is also not at the center well is somewhere in a quadrant so what do we do so we had great scientists in matthews bronze and haysbrook what they did they did simulation so you can imagine that they did some simulations in those simulations they considered different kind of drainage area so for example one drainage area they considered was this rectangle where producer was in the middle in one drainage area they considered a rectangle but the producer was here in one drainage area producer was here another drainage area was similar to what we have and they said that the producer is here like we have so for these different geometries of the reservoir they ran simulation and from those simulation what they gave us was that with the tda so this is tda they have written tad what is a pressure they calculated a pressure so what they calculated was this quantity all together at a given tda so you can see that pd td is also dependent on tda if we don't dimensionalize time with area this is also dependent on tda this is also dependent on tda so the only variable here is tda which is also dependent on area and for different configurations of the well in that drainage area we will get different left hand side so they plotted the left hand side which they called the pressure dimensionless pressure which was given by matthews bronze and haysbrook so pd mbh and they drew different curves you can look at what amount of work this will account today if you start doing this simulation so what you need to do is you need to produce from a reservoir till a time t and then do a build up test and from that build up test find this quantity then again at time t let's say first was at t1 another one at t2 do the same thing at t3 
again do the same thing so you have to stop the well at different times and do the build up test to find these quantities so they have given all those numbers of this quantity at different tda for different configurations of the drainage area where well is placed at different locations so now we are concerned about a particular kind of drainage area where well is in one of the quadrants for this we had already found tda 4.19 which i found in last slide and using this we can now find what is pd mbh so in this is a cartoon of the graph so you don't go by this graph you can look at the graph given in lp dec or some other book so but if this is for just explanation that how these curves look so if we use this td and find pd mbh pd mbh comes out to be 2.23 so using this pd mbh now we can find p star minus p bar so this p bar should be written like this which uh, which will come out to be this so p star we already know and uh, uh, we can multiply this by q mu divided by 4 pi k h because your pd mbh at a given tda is 4 pi k h by q mu p star minus p bar so we are calculating this quantity and using this quantity if we have pd mbh to be 2.23 we can multiply by q mu divide by 4 pi k h everything we know and you will see if you do it in si units you will get this in pascal and p bar will come out to be this quantity and then in psi it will be this quantity so p bar we can find out using p star now i want to mention here that you can say i am using si unit but to do in si unit i have also changed the units from field to si every time and this also takes time but when you finally convert all the fields to si unit you won't need all these conversion because then your drainage area will already be given in meter square your pressure will already be given in pascals or bars so the conversion will be very easy not like what i have done here i am doing this just to show that we can use these equation without any constants and use si units to find the same answer that you will get using uh, field units so in field units you need to remember very difficult equations or you need to see what quantities or what units are used for a particular constant used in different equations which we don't need to do here so with this i will end this video and next we will start two phase flow in a reservoir